right click on your avatar in the hierarchy and create empty. Call it mirror. Right click again, create empty, and call this one anchor. Click on your mirror and add a new parent constraint. Uh, add another component called rotation constraint. Set the weight equal to 0 0.5. Click the plus sign and add anchor as a source. Set that value to negative 1. Click the plus under rotation constraint. Add the anchor and set this one to negative 0 0.5. Let's check is active under both constraints. Okay, right click on mirror create empty and call this container. Add a parent constraint and plus icon, put the anchor under there. Right click on container, go to 3D object and select plane. Left click on the three dots by mesh collider and remove component. All right, let's set the Y position to 0 0.985, Z position to 2, rotation on the X axis to negative 90, and the scale on X to 0 0.4, Y to 0 0.2, and Z to negative 0 0.2. Right click on the assets folder, go to create and click folder. Call this camera stuff or whatever you want. Under camera stuff, let's create a new uh, render texture for your camera. And let's call this mirror camera. Now let's set the resolution of your render texture to something a little bit higher, like 2048 by 1024. Right click again in the camera stuff and create a new material called play material and drag this um, to the plane in the scene, like that. Now select the new shader. Uh, we'll use unlit and transparent. Drag our mirror camera texture into the texture on the material. Now right click plane and create a camera. Set the rotation X value to 90, uh, Y value to 180. Instead of skybox, we'll use solid color Set the background to white, projection to orthographic, set this size to 1, near to 0 0.01, and far to 3.5. Drag your mirror camera texture under target texture, and remove the audio listener, we don't need that. Right click plane and go to 3D object, go to quad, remove mesh collider. Set um, Y position to 0 0.01, Z position to 4.8, X rotation to 90, X scale to 10, Y scale to 0 0.3. Let's make a new material. Create material. Um, call this border material because this is going to be your border. Left click and drag that onto the quad there. Set um, the rendering mode to fade. Left click the color and I'll set it to blue, high saturation and halfway on the alpha. X that out. Okay, we're gonna duplicate your main avatar by left clicking and hitting control D. Let's create some animation files for your mirror. Right click under camera stuff, create, animation. Call this uh, mirror on. Let's create another animation. Call this one mirror off. Left click on our duplicated avatar in the hierarchy. Drag mirror off and mirror on onto the animator component on that avatar. Now left click on the animation tab, select the mirror off and hit record. Click on mirror in the hierarchy and check it off. Click on camera and check the actual camera component off. Let's go to mirror on, click record, click on mirror in the hierarchy, check it on, under camera, check the camera component on, and stop recording. Now you can right click and delete this duplicate avatar.
Okay, right click under camera stuff and create one more animation. Call this reset. On your original avatar, left click on mirror, add component, animator. Drag reset onto this animator. Click on the animation tab and add a property. Drill down under container, under parent constraint, and check this active property. Click on your avatar in the hierarchy, scroll down to the FX layer and double click that. We're gonna set up the parameter and layer for your um, mirror toggle. Left click parameters, click on the plus icon and select bool. Let's call this toggle mirror bool. All right, select layers, plus icon, and just call this mirror. Click the settings icon and set the weight to one. Select your camera stuff folder, left click the mirror off animation, drag it in there, and the mirror on animation. Right click on mirror off, make transition, and left click on mirror on. Do the same for mirror on to mirror off. Click on the down arrow for the first transition and uncheck has exit time, set transition duration to zero. Let's go to conditions and click plus and search for your toggle mirror bool. Set that to true. Click on the second transition, do the same thing. Click on the plus, select toggle mirror bool. This time select false. Select your avatar again and scroll down to the parameters file. Let's edit this. Add a new parameter with the exact same name as the Boolean parameter we created earlier. Select your avatar again and scroll down to double click on the expressions menu. Let's add a new control. Call this mirror and select the type to be toggle and your parameter to the toggle mirror bool.